the chastening of the Lord. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. We think that we are chastened, only when we are punished. That is the general notion. But here the Bible tells us the contrary. The Lord's chastening is very different. Whom does he chasten? He chastens those whom he loves. This is very different from an earthly father's love in certain ways. Sometimes fathers are so foolish. They say, I love this boy, he is so beautiful to look at, and he is so good, not the other boy. What should a sensible father say? There is nothing very much for me to worry about this boy. That boy who is naughty needs all my attention. I must win him. That is a balanced spiritual father. A lazy father says. This boy is a bad boy, let him get out of the house. But God does not say that to us. The Bible tells us that the father was waiting for the prodigal son to return. The Bible tells us that he fell on his neck and kissed him, after he had wasted all his living. The father had a great dinner for him. After he had lost all his inheritance, he gave him a ring. He did not say, bring the second best rope. But he said, bring the best rope. That is a father's love. That is how we are loved by the loving God. The Bible also asks us another question. Who is the son, whom the father does not need to chasten? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. Hebrew 12, 8, the Bible says, If you do not want chastening, if you are without chastening, then you are people without a proper father. You are just ill-begotten and no father really shaped your life. There is no point in our lives when we can say, Oh, I am perfectly shaped. I am okay. I do not need anybody's prayer or correction anymore. That is a very dangerous thing. That is the state of a person who is abandoned as worthless. I do not want to be left in such a state by God. Our reaction to chastisement weighs. We can weigh our spirituality by our reaction.